Welcome to my channel, The Praying Mom. There is power when you pray, but before I move on, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any prayer requests or any prayer concern, feel free to write your prayer requests below. Prayer Against Fear Do you have fear in your heart? Are you afraid of the unknown? Do you have trouble sleeping at night because you're afraid of the dark? Fear means false evidence appearing to be real. Fear can paralyze you and it can also affect you. Satan uses fear to control us. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 1.7 that God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. If you are constantly struggling with fear, I would like to invite you to join me in prayer and together let us give your anxieties to God. Right now, let us pray. Father God, I bless you and I acknowledge your presence at this moment. I thank you because you are not the source of fear or evil. Your love to us is an everlasting love and you, Father, is always faithful to your promises. Right now, O oh Father, I am interceding on behalf of all the people who are experiencing fear over their lives with the power of and with the authority that you have given me, I come against all the demonic forces of the enemy that are coming against the people who are praying with me today in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command you, the spirit of fear, to leave these people in the name of Jesus. I pull down the stronghold and the foothold of fear over their lives in the name of Jesus. I break its power over the lives of these people in the mighty name of Jesus. I command the spirit of fear, the spirit of oppression, the spirit of obsession to be gone and go back to the pit of hell where it belongs. Any kind of fear, fear of the unknown, fear of dying, fear of heights, fear of being alone, fear of the darkness, fear of flying, fear of traveling by plane or by boat and by car, be gone in the name of Jesus. You have no authority to torture these people. I command you to leave them in Jesus' name. I release your spirit of peace, Lord. Peace of mind and protection over these people. I bless you, O Father, and I ask that your Holy Spirit will guide them and let your warring angels encamp around them in the name of Jesus. Amen. My friend, there is power in the name of Jesus. Whenever you feel afraid, call on the name of Jesus and the power of darkness will flee from you. When you speak the name of Jesus, even Satan and his demons will tremble at the mention of his name. Before I wrap up, let me leave you with the word of God in Isaiah 41 verse 10. It says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. This is the promise of God that you can hold on. So, my friend, I want to encourage you for the last time. Whenever you feel afraid of anything, just keep quoting Isaiah 41 verse 10 because this is the promise of God for you. Well, once again, thank you so much for praying with me. Always remember, there is power when you pray. God bless you.